Good day to all my students in logic circuits and switching theory laboratory. Today we are going to perform experiment 3 which is the transistor resistor logic not gate. Okay? So based on the title, uh, the circuit will be composed of a transistor and resistors. For the two previous experiments, those were diode resistor logic circuits. So that's why you, you have a a diode resistor logic and gate and a diode resistor logic or gate and then as you can see the circuit the circuit uh, uh, the circuits were composed of diodes and resistors now let's go directly to our circuit because this experiment will already be uploaded in your virtual classroom okay So for our circuit diagram, we have here uh, uh, a transistor and uh, two resistors. Okay, so we can remove the this part of the uh, circuit here for our simulation because this is just for uh, an in indicator, and we can also replace this one with a voltmeter for our output. We can also replace this with a voltmeter here. So as you can see, we have here two switching positions of our uh, input A. So if we go back to our uh, module, if we uh, rather if we go to our data, your inputs rather your input is only A, and you have two values for A, zero and one. So if you switch uh, this. Uh, to the upper portion this will be connected to 5 volts so that will be 1 if we connect this uh, below this will be connected to ground so that will be 0 and this uh, switching positions will be the uh, deciding factor whether this uh, transistor Q1 will conduct or not okay so let's now, let's now try to simulate this using our simulation software uh, flow with sim okay so we have uh, one transistor and two resistors again we will uh, remove this uh, part of the circuit here and replace with the voltmeter so let's open our simulation software so let us get first a transistor so this is our transistor then let us get our two resistors uh, let's get a, a single pole double throw switch put it here and then let us uh, rotate this one horizontally okay then let's get a 3.3k and 330 ohms okay so let's get resistor uh, this is 330 ohms here and let's get 3.3k Let's get our VCC. Okay. Let's put it here. Then let us rotate this one 90 degrees. So if you look at our circuit, this is 330 ohms. This is 3.3K connected to the base of the transistor. Okay, so let's connect this one. And let us connect this one here then let us connect this one then the emitter let's connect to ground then the other switching position let's connect to ground the upper switching position let's get to five connect it to five volts and let's connect this to the terminal okay 
So let's initially connect our uh, single pole double crow switch to ground because based on our experiment that will be the first input zero and since this is a not a not gate so we will be expecting that if your input is zero then not okay not so input will zero your output will be not zero so what is the other value for not zero so it's one okay if the input is one then output is not one or zero so let's just observe whether that will be the case so let's now connect our voltmeters to monitor our output f okay let's connect this to ground and another voltmeter here to monitor our input a let's connect this to ground so let's double click so this is voltmeter dc double click this is voltmeter dc okay so if we run the simulation, let us monitor our input and output uh, voltmeters. Okay. So as we connect our our input A to zero, five picovolt, or that is zero, our output is five volts or one. So as I've said, if the input is zero, output it is not zero because this is a not gate. Therefore output here is 1 now if we switch to the other switching position the input is 5 volt the output is 29 millivolt or near to 0 so again based on our data if the input is 1 then the output is not 1 or 0 so that is simply the simulation of our circuit if we go back to 0 then 5 volts is our output. We go back to 1 or 5 volt, output is 0. Okay? So your, your experimental will require you to answer only this question.